Hello and welcome to some more GTA 5. This is part 6 and we're making our way to Leicester. So, yeah. Make sure you keep supporting these videos by smashing the like button, leaving comments below. Let me know what you guys want to see in the next episode. And yeah, subscribe for loads more GTA 5. It's going to be a pretty epic adventure. It's been pretty epic so far. The last episode was a bit adventurous, wasn't it? It was uh, pretty crazy. I think he's just up here. I think. I'm guessing. I have no idea. So this guy's like the plan guy, he basically makes all the plans and hopefully you pull him off pretty well eventually. Right, how do we get up to this guy? How do we get up? I think Michael looks like a bit of a badass now though. He's very cool. I think this is the place. Lester! Fuck you Lester. You gonna let me in or what? Give me a minute. Just unlocked it. Has he even moved? I was wondering when you'd show up. I was dead. Praise be. Guess you weren't very dead. You need my help. How do you know? Because you came here. Why else would you? <clears throat> I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know that. And you're going to make it up to me by doing whatever I ask. Or rather, I, I mean, I need something done. You need to know something, so. Why not help each other? I gotta make some dough. So you're back in the game? I guess. Look, Lester, about what happened before. Well, I know you never mentioned my name. I know I'm not on any lists anywhere. I know you never betrayed me. As for you, you gotta figure that I never told anyone. That instead of gently decomposing in North Yankton, you're angrily decomposing in Los Santos with a shrink and a wife who don't love you no more. Yeah. yeah, well, <laughs> since you put it like that... Hey, shut up a minute. I'm getting an eye find alert. That little college boy sack of shit, phony fuck. Who? Jay Norris? Yes. That fuck is a lying bastard. I've read his fucking emails. He's a fucking cheat. Uh, I heard him say that he saved America. What, by but... outsourcing all the jobs? By selling us little bits of plastic restricted access shit? Well, now it's payback time, you lying turd. What the hell are you talking about? You are about to get that white collar gig that you always dreamed of, Mikey. Here, take this uh, fashionably retro weird for a 45 year old man, but I cannot let go of the 1980s bag and dress yourself up like a billionaire math genius with low level Asperger's. You better be ready for the minor glitch of your repulsive pseudo messianic life. Okay, Lester. Get out of here! Call me when you're ready. We are about to put the Darwinism back in social Darwinism. And brother, it is gonna be fun. You fucking kidding me? I'm a bank robber, not a web designer. So we'll go robbing soon. I'll find something. Just like the old days. <laughs> oh my, right. I have no clue what this mission's about, if I'm honest. <laughs> I'm just gonna go along with it and just see what goes on got a bag on her back. I like the fact they've got a bag, literally, it's just on her back. I know it sounds a bit stupid, but it's pretty cool. Anyway. Let's do this job. Trying to see if we're first down here. Without crashing. Oh! Sorry, I'm joking. It's not too bad, actually. Nice little spin. And let's go. How far? It's quite a long journey, actually. God damn it. Actually, is this the motorway? We can go pretty quick on here. Unless I crash. Is most likely. Excuse me, coming through, crazy man. Whoa, that was a bit close for comfort. Let's hit right into the uh, the bullard, whatever you want to call it. Oh my god, oh my god. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. I love like little bits of um, graffiti and stuff. Just adds to the game so much. Lester seems like he's a little bit of a mental case in many ways. Very clever guy, I imagine, but put his cleverness in the wrong place. I'm trying to get off here. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. There we go. Crazy man coming for us. Let's just turn left here. Excuse me. There we go. What if the whole actually does anything in this game? Like, we're actually, like, scares people off or. Crazy man. So, I think we've got like, a suit or something. I'm not really sure what it is. Something quite geeky. Let's go along this side, actually. I think it's just along here. 
well, I think it's just in there, I think. Hola! So I think something's changed my clothes. A clothes shopping. Ah, excuse me. I got this interview at this tech company. I'm thinking I need something, I don't know, geeky, youthful. Lost your job and the world's moved on, huh? That's too bad. I didn't lose my job. Of course. Got too old, got outsourced. Same thing happened to my dad. Now you gotta fit in with a different generation. Huh? What about a vest and some cargo shorts? All right. All right, fair enough. A vest and some cargo shorts. Uh, so to browse this a lot. Oh, hello. That is definitely geeky. Which one should we go for? Oh my. Let's go for a bit of um. Let's go for that one. Why not? I need some cargo shorts. Goodbye. Thanks for the uh, the business. She was a bit of a bitch, wasn't she, if I'm honest? She looked quite pretty, but whatever. Michael? I'm all dressed up. Now, you want to run me through this thing? The prototype is somewhere in the Life Invader office. Find it and fit it with the device in your bag. They just gonna let me in? Why wouldn't they if you looked the part? Hang around till someone opens the door and act entitled. Fine. Squeeze. Oh, jeez. Almost there. Not too far. Life Invader Headquarters, I guess it's like Facebook Headquarters. Whoa, what the hell happened there? What the flipping Jesus was that about? That was a random glitch. I think I was driving too quick for this simulator. Right, go to the rear entrance. Is that just round here? I guess it's just round here. Look at my backpack. Looks so awesome. Hey. Hey. Uh, oh, great. Uh, PM's pushing for more functionality. <laughs> but we are maxed. I mean, if anything, we have to strip features, especially if we plan on releasing a fully yeah. priced update a year later. Oh, my. You know, it's... Yeah, well, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? I mean, we're talking beta in Q4, maybe Q3. Look, milestones are one thing, but when design is changing its mind yeah. seemingly overnight, there's not much you can do about it. You Look, know what I'm saying? Uh, my union allocated smoke bricks bought up, so... Wait a minute. Do I know you? Yeah, I think so. I... I T-temp, right? Yeah. You know, you gotta do something for me. Ah, uh, you gotta put it in a ticket. Ah, uh, no. I'd like to keep this one out of the database, if you know what I mean. No, oh, what do you want me to do? Right, okay, follow the programmer. He keeps moaning about workloads. Jesus. I'm turning consultant Ouch. when we release. Consulting consulters. It's quite a posh little office, though. Very fancy. Hi. Oh, hi. Chill out on the beanbag. Marcus will be right out. Oh, um, I'm going to take a normal chair. I have a terrible back. Oh, man. <laughs> They're making, really taking a piss off thing with the beanbags and all this sort of stuff. Here you go. If you guys let me use the OS I requested, this wouldn't be a problem. This is Whoa. a filthy hard drive, bro. Uh, I just need to move the cursor. It's hard to move. It's quite software? sensitive. I think so. Behind this junk on the left. Clicked an NSFW oh, link below. Hit me on the ass. Yeah, not safe for work, huh? You know, my son's computer runs into the same kind of problems. I'll close the pop-ups. See what I can do. Your son codes? Start him early, bro. You write your best stuff oh, in come on, I hate pop-ups. After that, it's just a hack job. So, try, oh, what the hell is this thing behind? Oh, my God. Wow. Your job is actually kind of stressful, too, ain't it? They got to send me on another one of those seminars. Oh, here we go. Antivirus. And we scan. Scan the computer. Scanning. These things never work anyway in real life. I don't know how it'd work in the game. You want a massage? Cause my hands are free. <laughs> oh god, these guys. See, I don't have the manual on me. There we go. Why is she like pregnant? Is she pregnant? Why don't you try and keep things strictly safe for work from now on? Hey, have you seen the prototype in the demo room? When Norris announces it at the keynote, minds are gonna blow. Yes, they are. Right, rig the prototype. 
Well, I think this is the office in here. Excuse me. Where's those prototype I'm going to destroy? Put a virus in it. That's me done. Exit the building, let's go. What are they doing in there? What are, what the hell is that? Yeah, cheers, I punch him in the face. I must get out of here before I kill someone. Invader calf. We're gonna punch someone like really badly. What the hell are they doing? Okay. Live tomorrow. Some a hole drank my effing head milk. Oh, you poor thing. Right. Let's get out of this building. Let's go through the front entrance. No, that's good. Oh, okay. Yep, do that. Thank you. Watch the key now at Michael's house. Is this oh. <laughs> I just punched a woman in the face. Nice. I lost the door already. Great. Hey, Michael. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Lester, the thing's in the prototype. I'm going home to watch the keynote. Teabag time, my friend. Lester, did you oh, hear me? Score. Are you playing that game? Yeah, yeah, sorry. The phone is rigged. Now, what's your problem? You don't like shooters? They're all the same. Besides, you know me. I'm a movie guy. Classic Vinewood. Classic Vinewood ended Whoa. 30 years ago. Now it's just superheroes, romantic comedies, and remakes, none of which interest me. Hey. I believe this country can still make interesting movies. There's no better way to define American life than a two-hour plot in which the hero looks good and defeats evil. Ah, whatever you say. Enjoy yesterday. Anyway, just call the device after he's unveiled it, and then we'll talk. Sounds good. Sounds like a plan. Well, I just gonna park this car inside the, uh... I love for the first time. Let's get out of here. I think we can go this way, can't we? Excuse me. There we go. We can. Sweet. Oh, where's my TV? <laughs> oh my god, you guys are so lame. No, I'm watching Fame or Shame. Not fucking tits. No. Give me that. <laughs> what the hell am I watching? Right, let's change the channel. Well, so I've got to give him a call when the phone comes out, basically. This company has come a long way since we started it in my parents' pool house in East Carroll. Today, you're about to witness a new phase. Full-on, weapons-grade, red alert, world domination. Sounds quite scary, doesn't it? What an amazing device. It sounds like Apple, doesn't it? It sounds really awkward. private data in the public domain and we have milked every penny we could in the process. And we have one of the youngest workforces in the world. An average age of only 14.4 <laughs> years. That's not just impressive, it's well, revolutionary. That's like slave children or something. 14.4? Oh my god. Right, so I think when he gets his phone out, right his prototype, we have to, to basically the detonate it. Step. Prepare to witness the future. What the hell? What's, what's he doing? Oh, Doc. What the hell? What Doc using a finger up into a hole? The Life Invader mobile device. Yes, we've invented something no one else has ever thought of. A small, personal, computerized device. Right, here we go. Device. We can call him if we want now. We're going to be able to stay docked 24 7. Ooh. On the bus, you can dock. On the subway, stay docked. You can be docked at home, and at the same time, you're docking with some kids at the public pool. We went to the guys at Fruit Computers, this and one. we told them we wanted to make our hardware as compatible as possible. But you know what? They're not interested in sharing their technology. 
So we went and made it compatible. Oh, boo. Now you can dock your Life Invader to an iFood phone or any other device. And it'll take all the data off it and reformat it into Life Invader Watch friendly this. information. Oh, hold on a second. I think someone's trying to dock with me. Oh, are they? Hello? Oh, Hello. what the hell? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! What the hell? Oh my god! Someone's trying to get in contact with me. Literally blew his face off. Oh, this game. Oh my god, this game. Seriously, it's flipping insane. Oh, right. Pop ups clear. Oh, I think clean the pop ups quick enough, quick enough. Damn it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Smack it with a like, leave a comment below, and subscribe for loads more GTA 5 content coming over the next few weeks. Should be epic. See you guys soon. Bye. <laughs> Les, that was heavy. Are you watching the news? I don't have to. I'm watching the markets. I'll be trading pure alpha till close. All right. Hey, about that other thing. You know the score. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Put on a suit, look somewhat professional, and meet me at my warehouse off the LS freeway. Oh, uh, and I'm about to email you a link for the exchange. You can put in some trades of your own. I'm trying to stay off the day trading. Uh, but maybe I'll take a look.